Hey everybody, what's going down? What's cracking? What's popping? Um, okay, so I know it's been like five days since I've done a video, which I'm so sorry about. It's just these last couple days have been hectic. I've been trying to get everybody their Christmas presents and everything, so it's like a chicken running around with its head cut off. <laughs> It's been crazy, so I'm sorry for the delay. I know I didn't give a head notice or anything, and like I said, with my work schedule and everything, it's just because these videos don't really take me about two, three hours or so. Because really detailed, gotta get everything perfect. But yeah, so sorry about that. But I woke up early today. Let's do some face cake. <laughs> okay. Um. I kind of wanted to keep it going with the Christmas thing. We might do it. I think so. But first, I'm going to get my anti-wrinkle serum on and my face primer. So, Okay. Well, while the um, anti-age serum uh, dries up a little bit because I kind of put a little bit too much. But hey, hopefully I look like a newborn baby. <laughs> um, I kind of wanted to talk about hair real quick. Okay. I know I straightened my hair in one video before and showed you, like, the before and after straightening. I didn't even straighten this today. Like, I've been really on a hair care thing lately. And I've done research and things. And I've uh, found out it's actually not good to wash your hair every day, which I used to do. Um... So I've, I've just been uh, washing it every one week or two. And these natural oils, because everybody produces natural oils, and that's where um, people get the oily look from. Like if their hair gets oily, that's your natural ha hair oils. That's not bad for your hair. It's actually very good for your hair. So I've been like just letting that do what it does. And honestly, like I said, I just woke up, just brushed my hair, and it looked like that, just straight. And I'm like... Okay, it's less frizzy, it's getting longer, like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Go to worry. <laughs> okay. It's still kind of tacky, but I think we're good. Hopefully. Alright, I'm about to put the primer on real quick. I haven't I have, I've been thinking of, um, a couple different ways to do some Christmas themed. I was going to do Rudolph, um, antlers as, uh, like wings, kind of, but also do the eyeshadow with it, and then little Rudolph nose. I was like, okay, that could be cute. Or I was thinking I could. Um, somebody at work suggested I do a candy cane look. And I was like, yes. I was in love with that. This one guy at work, he was just randomly giving me ideas. And I'm like, yes, keep it coming with a little uh, notepad. <laughs> like, okay, all of these ideas sound bomb. So if I'm ever stuck on an idea, I'm just gonna go to work and I'm just like, hey, you got any recommendations? <laughs> Cause he had some really good ideas. Oh, I did. is that a pimple? Oh, that's gonna be a big pimple. Ouch. Can you guys ever feel a pimple before it comes in? Like you can just tell by the pain of it how big it's gonna be. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one that can do that. Cause I can feel the pain of a pimple and be like, mmm, that's gonna be a huge zit. Or it could just be a little blackhead. But when they hurt, they're big. I'm just glad, honestly, I got rid of this big pimple and this one. Oh, cool. We're basically clear. Except for, like I said, this little one growing on the side now. But it's cool. 
Okay, we have the primer on. Got my anti-wrinkle serum on. I was gonna do something with my hair today, but I really, I'm loving this like whole natural look thing right now. And like I said, I haven't straightened it. It's still its natural texture and everything. Love it. Okay. I'm about to put foundation on. Okay, so I got the foundation on. Um, I'm going to do concealer stick. Almost fell out the chair. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mix my concealer stick with my contour palette. Not meaning like I'm mixing the two, but as in applying them in the same sense and at the same time. <laughs> because this banana powder does not really do anything. So I was going to use a wet white concealer along with the brown. So let's try to see how this goes. Hopefully it works in my favor. Hopefully because we all know some makeup days are worse than others. <laughs> and I know people use like really, really white concealer sticks, especially for the under the eye and everything. But I don't like to look like a ghost, like at all. Hopefully I didn't do this one. This is normally where I put I would put my white powder from the contour kit, but it's not working properly or how I want it to, let me say. So and I'm just gonna take the tan sculpt. I don't use the um deep sculpt because I think it's a way too white. <laughs> they don't cause me Irish, even though I don't, I don't think I am. I really want to go on Ancestry.com because, yes, why not? <laughs> I want to know my past family history and stuff because I really don't know any, <laughs> like, at all. But then again, Ancestry, like, takes your DNA and I believe they give it to the government, so... And one thing you should know about me, I am a big conspiracy person. Like, huge. <laughs> I am like... Why does this always happen to me? I swear I can never get them symmetrical, but I feel like... You know what? We're gonna blend this out and we're going to make it work. This is going to work. And I really need a headband. Why am I never prepared? I'm never properly prepared, like, ever. Okay. So I'm about. Um, I'm about to blend this out, so hopefully it blends for me. Okay, so I blended it, and I think it does love it. Okay, so next step, my eye frizzies, because actually, no, hold on. Let me put my pressed powder on to make this more of a matte finish. Okay, I just put my pressed powder on so I don't look so shiny. Okay, obviously I do because of lighting, but looks better. <laughs> okay, so now on to the eyebrows. Okay, so I got the brows on. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Um, got the brows on. Where's my spoolie? I'm blending it out a little bit. Make them look more real than what they are. <laughs> I thought I low-key messed up on my other brow. Because I kind of did it too dark right here. But I got it to look good. about what one of my coworkers said about the candy cane look. I really want to try to do that, but I'm not sure if I have enough time, but we're just going to try to do it anyway and do the best with what we can. So, I'm not really sure what to use here or how to go about it because I was just going to do the top lids red and then do white for the, um, but then again, I'm like, I don't know, because I don't want to put white and then it like fade to an orange is kind of sunset-ish look. Um, but then again, I could just use, oh no, there's paint on my palette. Um, but I could just use my foundation and then just go in it with the white so it don't mix. But then it, ugh. I have so many thoughts on how I want to do this and meh. Okay, so give me a second. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I know how I want to do this now. I'm just going to go back and forth with lines of white and red um, lines on the eyeshadow. I think this might work out in my favor, hopefully. But um, let's get started. Okay, you guys, so I'm not sure how strongly I feel about this yet. Because you really cannot see the white. At all. You're white. Let me just add this in there because you might have caught it. Um, Dion thinks it's not working because I'm white, so the white's not going to show up on white. So. <laughs> There's his theory, which actually is probably not wrong, but, um, crap, I'm not really satisfied with this, so let me go ahead and try my best to fix this, because what I thought was going to be a Christmas video is just going to be a fixer-upper now. <laughs> We're just going to swing with what we got. Okay, so... Sorry about that. Dion's kind of in a rush. We wanted to go somewhere before work. But, um, I feel like the candy cane look completely failed. Not really. I just have more practice to do and more things to try out. But I went ahead and decided to do this peach mango look. Which, I really love this, by the way. Um kind of upset you can still kind of see the red lines I gotta blend it out a little bit more but it don't look too bad kept a little red just a little bit but this is my peach mango look um now I'm going to put my eyelashes on real quick okay so I was going to put a black eyeliner on with it but I'm like Dion's in a rush let me just try to finish this up um so I got the highlighter on as you can tell, ooh, let me lighten the camera up a little bit. Popping. Yes. Okay, so my first candy cane look kind of failed. Not horribly, but failed. Um, but this look is a success. I'm calling this my peach. What did I say? My peach mango look. Yes. And I know I really want to get rid of the lines. But if I'm being normal, 
<laughs> then you can't really see them. So I think I might just leave them alone. Hopefully nobody asks. <laughs> but yes, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching, of course. And um, till we meet again on the flip side. <laughs>